Let's just quickly whiz through the colours before I start painting. Here we got ultramarine, cad yellow, pines grey, lizard crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. And the main brush is the large Ron Ranson Hike, and I'm using 15 by 11, 130 pound Fabriana. So I'm going to start off just wetting the paper all over. I've done two or three paintings this week, but I didn't bother wetting it and it, it just didn't feel right, you know what I mean? Just, just couldn't get the same sort of rhythm, um, the effects just, just weren't happening. So I'm definitely going to wet this one and I'm going to whack a bit of raw sienna in there as well. Not too much, just a little bit to give it some flavour. Then I'm going to clean the brush, go into ultramarine and then whack some of that in up there. Uh, this is, um, no, it's a bit like that. Something like that. Uh, that'll do. That's all I'm going to put in for the for the sky. Might just. Um, trees around it. So I might just take out a little bit of cloud, something like that. Just catch any little bits dribbling down the paper. Clean the brush. Now there's uh, some distant trees so I'm going to go with a bit of, same two colours but just a touch of cad yellow in there as well. Raw sienna, ultramarine. Um, we're going somewhere, somewhere like that. about there, I think. A bit more blue. Let's just go up there like that. And then way up there. A bit more blue in it. A little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is scrape out a. Scrape out of a, a little cottage down there, I think. Um, if I can just level that off. Give the impression like a little wall or something. I, don't know, I might just try paint straight over. I don't know. I'm just going to see. See how it goes. Right there. So just down there we've got cottage, so I'm just going to scrape in a little roof like that, up down the other side. Mm. I think I want a bigger roof. I think that's where I'm getting slightly wrong with some of these. Um, I don't need a roof big enough, so I'll scrape the roof a bit bigger. Little side, something like so. And I'm just going to put in a few little something going on. Just put that down there. And I'll, I'll come back to that in a bit. Come back to that. Uh, oh, hang on, don't forget a little chimney. And another one down there. And I'll, and when it's all dry at the end, I'll put a bit of smoke in there. Just make it look as if it's, as if the fire's on. Right then, so, a few little bits and pieces popping up through the, through the snow. Right then, so that's that side, and something down there like that. Right, now moving over to the other side, so I want some big trees up there. Some room for the uh, trunks. There's a few little pop that there like that. Something going up there like that. These are like some little bushes or something behind. Oh, 
let's just pop these trunks in. Incidentally, I've only used the three colours so far, Raw Sienna, Ultramarine, it's just a touch of cad yellow, not a, not a fat lot, I mean you can hardly, you can hardly see it on there. But Did that one a bit too thick. So I'm just going to paint over some of that. Made a bit of a mess of that. Um, these are just the trunks here. So these trees, just a whole load of them. Make that a little bit darker up there. And it's coming down there. To clear. It's quite sticky. This is normally it's dry, but I think I put it on a bit thick, so it's still sticky. But actually, I quite like that because you get a nice, a nice compromise there between. Because I do, if I had an unlimited budget, right, which I don't, I'd, I'd probably use it fresh out of the tube all the time because you can get some some nice effects but you get a lot of wasted paint you know the paint that's left over when you when you're finished and you uh, you end up just throwing it away that's why i started using it dry off the um off the straight out of the tube like this Uh, it's quite dry now, so I can I can I know I can wish wish the brush around there. Wish wash. Um, I don't know what word I'm trying to think of. Swish it all over. I want to leave it quite light. I because two reasons. I because it's uh, it's snow, and B because then I'm going to put some shadows in straight across, and obviously the, the lighter. The land is the more uh, pronounced the shadows will be on top of it. Um, I, th I think I've done enough uh, dibs and dabs and whatnot and all this. Um, see what I'm going to do just for now. I, I was going to do something with that. I, th I think I quite like it as it is, really. I don't think I'm going to mess about with that too much. What I am going to do. Is pull this flat. It's come away from the board. Incidentally, I am a, I am on Patreon. Um, there are videos on there that aren't on YouTube. So if you want to watch extra, the uh, the Patreon link. If you'll find it in the dis every description, you'll see the Patreon link at the top. Um, there's there's a very odd about. It. Uh, there's a few, there's a few dozen videos on there that, that are on YouTube. So something to keep you going, um, if you want to see more. Um, now before I go any further, I've got to, I'm gonna to have to give this a dry. I think. Let's get the air dry now. Colour, so I'm going to keep the same. I'm just going to use the same uh, colours, I think. So it's going to be sort of blue, a bit 
more water. Um, I'm just going to go with that sort of bluey, just a touch of raw sienna in there. This will be the shadow, so plenty of paint on the brush, so I'm going to keep reloading it. Um, and then I'm just going to whoosh them straight across there like that. Remember that sort of come down across and then up, up the banks on the other side. Trying to do it like the minimum of fuss fiddling, I think. I think that'll do. Give that a quick dry. walking off walking off round the corner so I'm going to switch to the smallest brush I've got and I'm just going to give him some light red keeping it nice and small just watching the scale You need to a bit of ultramarine just to vary it, just to do his legs in. shadow as well so So let's see what it looks like with the mantle. So here's the finished painting. So if we go in and uh, have a closer look at it. Very simple sky in the background. It was just a bit of raw sienna with a bit of blue mixed in. And then when I knew these trees were going to go, just took a few clouds out using a large, using a dry height brush. Then it was turned to use the same two colours. It was predominantly raw sienna and burnt umber. Um, I think it was just a touch of cad yellow, but I've hardly used any really. Um, and a little bit of uh, tolo, I think there's a bit of burnt umber in here as well, when I was doing the sort of road section. But anyway, with the trees there, I'll tell you what I did forget, I forgot to put the smoke in then, I was going to put some smoke, I'll do that next time, in the next painting I think. So, could have done maybe a touch a little darker down here, where I put the, uh, scrape the cottage in. Um, just simply put in scraping uh, with a corner of a card 
Um, left plenty of unpainted bits to suggest the snow. Over on the right hand side, put all the foliage in, and then just use the sort of chisel egg just to put all the load and load of trunks in sort of on, on mass. Then again, it was sort of dab, dab, dab it and miss with the brush, leaving plenty of white areas to suggest the snow. Um, also, leaving plenty of uh, unpainted sections just so these shadows stand out more sort of sweeping from right to left imagine so the, the sun's over on the right hand side so there somewhere and these trees continue down here and they're casting shadows straight across following the contours of the land so it's slightly dark slightly down the banks and then across the road and then just up the other side of the road up the bank and that's the same path the shadows take I mean our road leads us up to the only other colour that I did use, just our little man there in his red coat and his dog. Well I hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to carry on painting, you can catch me over on Patreon if you want to see any more videos. But until then, thanks for watching, keep practising, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.